Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, after a spectacular weekend with temperatures in the 70s for both Saturday and Sunday, we are tracking some showers in the near term overnight tonight. Not really a big deal, but they are making their way through the area. Let's take a look outside here at the capital city. Uh, rain is just about knocking on the doorstep, especially across western areas. Right now it's on the lighter side, but there are some embedded heavier downpours uh, within this shield of rain that's making its way towards us. Here's what I'm talking about. Here is the radar check. You can see some of these, you know, brighter yellows, oranges and reds across Connecticut and also central mass. That is making its way into our area for the overnight hours and will be with us for a few hours at least before it moves on off to the east of us. But again, so if you're traveling tonight, just keep that in mind. Uh, maybe looking at uh, some heavier downpours making their way through from time to time through about three or four o'clock in the morning. Again, good news is it clears out in time for our morning commute on Monday. Observed highs from today, 76 in Providence, 76 in Smithfield. So of course the warmer temperatures have been the bigger story all weekend long. That's actually gonna continue as we head into our Monday temperatures now, though, actually still on the mild side in Providence, 62 degrees, 63 in Smithfield, 62 in Taunton, more like upper 50s to near 60 along the coastline. Most of us are going to bottom out in the low 50s by Monday morning. Three key things, those overnight showers, really more of a, you know, overnight deal, not really going to bother anyone unless you're traveling during the overnight hours. Warmer this week compared to last week. We have the clouds and the cooler temperatures last week. Well, this upcoming week is a little bit different. More sunshine and temperatures above average, if not close to average, which is about 66 degrees and no major storms in my seven day forecast. Satellite radar again, this is a quick moving system. You can already see the back edge of the rain in central New York. This is moving to the south and east. It's gonna be out of here by the time you wake up on your Monday morning. It's a weak low pressure system that'll be making its way to the east. Again, not really gonna bother us unless you're traveling overnight tonight. Let's time it out for you again. Rainfall making its way through some embedded heavier downpours, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Can't rule that out either. But again, it's out of here by three, four o'clock in the morning. Here you go. Clouds lingering about seven o'clock in the morning. We'll see some more sunshine really develop. And uh, as the morning progresses, once that sunshine uh, gets out, we'll be looking at warmer temperatures as we head into the afternoon hours, topping out about 70 to 75 degrees in the afternoon favoring inland areas for those warmer temperatures, but still not a bad day across the area. Even by the evening hours, eight o'clock at night on Monday, temperatures in the 60s. So again, it's very nice, very comfy, similar to what we saw this weekend. So again, it's great to get outside, maybe have dinner plans outdoors for your Monday evening. And here's that seven day forecast for you. Generally a quiet week ahead as we go forward in time, but look at the temperatures on Tuesday. They do dip down a little bit uh, again to around 64 degrees. Our average, like I said, is 66, so it's not too far off. We warm things right back up, though, for Wednesday, Thursday and into Friday. Temperatures mid to upper 70s, maybe some passing showers on Friday, but right now that doesn't look to be a big deal. And right now uh, next weekend looks to be pretty nice, very summer like potentially on Saturday with those upper 70s. So Saturday is the day to wait for again. I would say wait for that one and let's see if that trend uh, holds those temperatures. All right. Thanks.